everyone gets this question wrong. Everyone does. I, I think it's a hard question. Uh, the SAT thinks it's hard as well, but uh, I do think it's preventable. So let's let's see how. Let's let's read everything here. This is from this this novel. Uh, Humphrey Davy was a prominent British chemist and inventor. Prominent means important. Years ago, a grave American savant being in London observed at an evening party there a certain con- coxcombical fellow, as he thought, an absurd ribbon in his lapel and full of smart banter, whisking about to the admiration of many as were disposed to admire. So he's weird but good, I guess? Weird but good? I don't know. Great was the savant's disdain, that's a negative word, but chancing ere long to find himself in a corner with the jackanapes got into conversation with him, when he was somewhat ill-prepared for the good sense of the jackanapes, but was altogether thrown aback, upon subsequently being informed that he was no less a personage than Sir Humphrey Davy. So there's the guy from the beginning, right? So this is an important guy. Okay. So disdain, they're basically saying that this, this savant... Uh, this smart person, this guy who's kind of, yeah, like a weird smart guy, uh, is disdainful of other people. Basically thinks he's kind of a superior and he's kind of being rude maybe to other people. Disdain is hatred. So he's here, here, I don't know that he's hating on all the other people, but I I think it it suggests that he is being kind of obnoxious and rude. Um, So what's going on? Honestly, I just genuinely wouldn't know. Like I'm like, I I got no no clue. So I, I need the choices as always to tell me what's going on. Uh, A, it portrays the thoughts of a character who is embarrassed about his own behavior. Okay, embarrassed is a very strong word. And is the narrator embarrassed? Um, Maybe. Maybe he's thrown aback. Maybe that, that means embarrassed. Now, to me, thrown aback means surprised, right? You're, you're kind of like literally thrown back. Like, oh, you know, like that, that to me is surprise, not embarrassment necessarily. It could be. Right, because if you're surprised that the guy you're talking to is such a prominent person, then maybe you're embarrassed that you didn't recognize him. But you see how that's me talking. I don't. I don't know. I'd love the passage to say that. Uh, I don't know. It also seems like maybe the main character is off. Right. This seems to be more about the the the, the Humphrey Davy than it does about the, the narrator. But I genuinely don't know. This choice doesn't strike me as obviously wrong, but I'm also not seeing anything that makes it really clear. I'd love some word that makes it clear that he's embarrassed, like ill-prepared, meaning again, if you're embarrassed because you're not prepared for something, like think about if you have to give a presentation that you haven't done your your research or homework on, you might feel embarrassed because you're ill-prepared. I just, again, it's not saying embarrassment though. Um, It's leaving it up to me to come up with that emotion. Let's look at B. It presents an account of a misunderstanding. Well, what is this misunderstanding? The misunderstanding is that he's talking to someone who actually ended up being a very important person. Notice how that's a lot easier for me to slide in there, right? Like that part I do get from the passage. And it doesn't it doesn't say that he was embarrassed about the misunderstanding. It doesn't say that he was proud of it or any emotion about it at all. It's just a misunderstanding. I thought I was talking to some uh, grave American savant, uh, uh, or actually, I guess that's not, that's even someone else. I don't even know what's going on. Um, so yeah, a misunderstanding is someone confused someone else. We'll, we'll come back to that. But I, I, here, I feel like I can justify this word. See, it offers, a, offers, wow, it's my Long Island accent, offers a short history of how a person came to be famous. Well, turn that into a question. Perfect example of this. How did he become famous? I don't know. It just says he's famous. He's prominent. It doesn't say how. I, it's not in the passage. So this one definitely wrong. That's what most people pick though. So I get that choice B, choice A, those are kind of close, but I don't think C is close. I think the reason people pick that is that famous is a word that they're familiar with and it's a word that we kind of see in this passage. And so you're just kind of mimicking the word that's obvious, but you don't understand like the choice has phrased it in such a way that we need more than just knowing that he's famous. How did he become famous? You can't answer that, can't pick this choice. D, it explains why one character dislikes another. Again, this is tempting. Dislikes is obviously very strong. The connotation would make this very negative. I don't know. These people are admiring him. Admiration. I don't know. I don't, it's just, is it really dislike? Uh, At the end here, he's thrown aback um, that he's talking to Sir Humphrey Davy. But does that mean he dislikes Sir Humphrey Davy? I don't think so. So we can also turn that into maybe a, a question as well. Why, if it explains why one character dislikes another, 
why does the character dislike him? I don't know. Even if it says that he does dislike him, I don't think I get the why, right? Well, is it because he, I don't know, insulted him on some occasion? Is it because he's just generally uh, like a, an unenjoyable person? I don't really know. So I would be torn, torn between A and B. This would definitely be a question that when I pick my answer, I'm not happy about it and I'm coming back. But the answer is B because of kind of what I said, right? Embarrassed, we can force it in. It's reasonable to conclude that someone is embarrassed when they, they are talking to someone that they should have known but don't. But we don't actually get that word. We don't get a word for embarrassment. And we are left to assume it. But with a misunderstanding, we can prove that, right? He's talking to someone that he did not recognize was an important person. That's a misunderstanding. So yeah, that's easier to prove. And generally, that is why on the SAT, weaker answers are better, is they, they say less, so they're easier for us to prove. A is a little bit stronger. Why is he embarrassed? Well, he's embarrassed because he misunderstood who he's talking to. Reasonable, but not stated. A or choice B says the same thing, but without the part of embarrassment. And that's what makes it weaker, and that's what makes it correct. But if you got this question wrong, I wouldn't worry about it. This is just really, really tricky and really, really weird. I'm not even gonna go through all the different words in here. I've never heard of coxcombical before. I have no idea what that means. So there's a lot of words that I would have no clue either. And so if you wanna look them up, go for it. But I don't think coxcombical is gonna come up in the SAT.